yeah, anyway, so going back, uh, I'm just going to share you how I manage my tasks using Notion. Uh, huh. um, for those who are here, just comment uh, if you can hear me or something. I'm not sure if you're hearing me, but yeah. So here's my project management um, tool that I've made in Notion. Because in Notion, you basically need to create uh, the tools yourself. So I created this um, table for me to be able to determine uh, which tasks I should prioritize first. So actually, I haven't updated this for uh, today because I've had uh, tasks that I needed fi to finish um, as up. So, but yeah, basically this is um, this tool prioritizes my tasks on my behalf. So it determines automatically if I should do this task first or that task. So um, it does it by uh, when I set the deadline, the impact, and the difficulty of the task. So basically, I decide on those parameters and then uh, the tool will decide for me. So it's uh, basically convenient because I don't have to uh, be subjective about it. I mean, I don't have to take too much time on which task I should prioritize for the day because basically um, the tool does it for me. So here, um, let me give you an example. So for example, this one, uh, the deadline should have been last August 26. But yeah, it's still ongoing. It's still ongoing. Um, I mean... Uh, I've finished everything on my end. However, um, the company haven't processed my clearance yet. So, I'm just going to uh, adjust it to maybe September uh, huh, 14. I will follow up on the 14th. Okay, so as you can see, it it basically um, changed positions. So September 15, um, ah, sorry, 14. So it's here. Okay. And the priority level changed because I changed the deadline. So I haven't, I don't have to worry about that for now because the deadline is September 14. Now, um, for the others, um, Actually, it's uh, it's sorted by the priority level. So the one on top is the uh, task with the highest priority. So for example, this one, I have the deadline for today and I will check it. I'm going to check it later <laughs> because I haven't done this yet. So, sorry, I'm just going to see the... Okay. So next... Um, or yeah okay so let me show you how this actually works so sample task task here on this column i have the projects so for uh for so for you to be able to determine or uh check the tasks under a certain project you can actually do this i mean you can actually add a column for your projects and then make it a drop down menu uh, so you can actually um, choose a project so later I will show you how that works but yeah uh, the first thing that I would do is of course uh, I added the task and then determine the project and then um, I would choose the deadline I would determine the deadline of this task and then for the category, I have this. Uh, but of course, in when you do this, you can actually um, change the options. So you can always add an option here. And you can always delete an option. So uh, for the sake of this example, I will choose course, trading, sample task. The progress, of course, um, 
here I have to do doing done for review, revision, recurring, and cancelled. So basically, for review and revision are not required for most Kanban boards. However, guys, this is not a Kanban, but I will show you a Kanban view of this later. But basically, I need them for uh, my reference. So I just know if I'm I was already able to do it. For example, the draft of an email. Then I submitted it. Then it's just for review by my client. And if the client responds, hey, could you revise this? And yeah, basically I will know if it's for revision or not. Now I'm uh I'm going to discuss the recurring later, but I, I know you already have an idea about how that works, but yeah. For example, to do, the impact of this task is, for example, level 4, and then the difficulty of the task is level 2. So, it will go here. Basically, the tool determined automatically if it's something that you should prioritize, that I should prioritize, um, automatically. Okay, so for the recurring, for example, this is recurring, ah, sorry, for recurring tasks such as, for example, oops, what did I do? Um, recurring, not, sorry, not cancelled, recurring. Um, if this is a recurring such as, uh, for example, credit card bill, I'm not talking about the recurring daily, recurring weekly tasks because that would, um, that would congest your uh, table. But um, I put the recurring here for monthly or longer, monthly or longer, so that it's uh, something that that will really remind me of if it's already nearing the deadline. For example, the deadline of the credit card payment is every 15th of the month. So, um, sorry, where's that? Ah, okay. So, basically, if uh, the payment of the credit card is uh, on the 15th and today is 9th, I won't have to worry about that. But if it becomes today, Let's just assume that the credit card deadline is today. So, it will go automatically on the top of my list. Somewhere on top of my list. And of course, uh, that would change because I, if it's a credit card and I don't want to miss the deadline, the impact for me would be a level 5 and the difficulty is level 1 because I'm just going to pay it. And I don't have to think about it, right? So, it's pretty easy because everything can be done online right now. So, yeah. It will go on top of my list. Now, um, <clears throat> guys, feel free to comment because uh, it's kind of quiet in the chat. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, um, I have other views. So, for example, you're the type of person who... Uh, who like to eat the largest frog first in the morning. Sorry, my net is kind of acting up. Yeah, okay. Um, the difficulty board is... You can use the difficulty board if you want to eat the largest frog first. Okay. So, sorry, I'm, I'm not sure why this is sorted this way. This is supposed to be... Okay. So, basically... Um, the level 5 tasks or the most difficult tasks are also sorted based on the priority level. So the one on top is the one with the highest priority. So if I need to, actually this is already done, but if I need to um, do this first or if you, I want to do this first, I'm going to focus on this task. And then I'm going to focus on this task and this task until... I finish all of them and I will go to the level 4 tasks. Okay, But uh, some people want to eat the largest frog first in the morning and then go back to the master view or the 
um, task with the highest priority level. That's okay too. Okay, so I'm just going to change the status of this one. Um, as you can see, it's still doing, but I've already done this one. If I uh, if I choose done here, it will be removed from the list. It will be hidden actually from the list. So it's not here anymore because I don't want to see the tasks that I've already done in this Kanban board. Same goes with here. If I, for example, if I change the status to done, it will be removed or hidden, sorry, from the list. Okay, so um, next, uh, the impact. So if I want to prioritize the tasks with the largest impact, I would refer to this view. So for example, this one, and oh, of course, this is also prioritized or arranged, sorted according to the priority level, descending order. So highest priority to lowest. Um, completed tasks. So for, um, of course, uh, I don't delete the tasks that I have completed already because I might have to refer to them one day. I might have to refer to them one day. So uh, for the completed tasks, this is actually arranged based on the deadline. So descending order also, newest to oldest. So for example, um, I have I have completed the task. I should actually, but I should actually put the completion date here. So I would be able to refer to, for example, an email uh, when I already sent the uh, the document, etc. So I just have a reference on when I was able to do it because not all the time I'm completing the task on the deadline. There are times that I complete them earlier. So I just don't have an example here, but yeah. Okay, so... Uh, for the progress, this is the classic Kanban view. So, to do doing done. Uh, so, to do doing done for review, revision, etc. But actually, for the done, I can. Yeah. So, it's to do, doing, and then for review, for revision, and done. Now, um, for the done, I didn't really hide this because if I want to drag this here the status or the progress of the task will automatically change from doing to done and it will reflect on all the views including the master view the table one so I don't have to uh, worry about updating this and in the other view it's not updated okay now um Next, of course, this is also prioritized based on the highest priority level descending order. Um, for the project board, so I made this Kanban board or Kanban view so that um, when you uh, try to focus on a sing single project on a specific day, you will just uh, go to this view and you will be able to see what tasks you need to finish for that particular project. So for example, I have a change maker project. So this is uh, my collaboration with Angeline Virai. Um, I write the copy for her. So yeah, um, okay. actually this is not delayed. This is an ongoing task. So I will finish on Friday. I will finish on Friday. So, as you can see, the uh, priority level changed. The icon changed from whatever it was earlier to copy. Okay. Because I don't have to focus on that one right now. But um, I want to prioritize the change maker copywriting. So, I, 
I check the box every single day. So actually, the deadline is September 11, by, but I write emails every day. So I should make this today. So the deadline is today. However, I already uh, sent the email for today. So I will change the deadline to tomorrow. Okay. Um, and of course, the classic calendar view. Sorry, my net is kind of slow today. But yeah, uh, this is the classic cal calendar view. And here, you will be able to see if a certain day is congested with tasks such as this one, September 11. I'm not sure why I I set the deadline. Uh, I mean, why I set a lot of tasks deadline on September 11. I'm not really sure, but basically, um, basically, you could actually drag and drop this from, for example, this one. I can drag it to um today so the deadline would automatically change on all the views okay so I, i'm just going to uh revise this later <laughs> and the cancel tasks so if you have cancel tasks you could see them here but basically um you want to keep the cancel tasks because you want to be able to refer to them on a later date uh, just for example you cancelled something and you've thought about it again and you have to explain to someone why you cancelled that task so you can actually take notes of that one here you can add notes per task and also you have uh if you need to uh like remember why you canceled the task in the first place even though no one's asking um because for example you're planning something and you've already thought about that particular strategy before and you canceled it you can actually go back to your notes on why you've canceled that task in the first place so you won't have to think about it again or if there's a cancel task before and you decided to proceed with it you can always change the status from cancel or the, the progress from cancel to to do you don't have to input another entry here you just have to go back to your cancel tasks so that's it basically um, if you found this useful, I'm going to, um, I'm actually offering a template. I'm actually offering this template, uh, for a fraction of the cost that it took me to build this <laughs> because it took me, I, I don't know how many hours, but yeah, it, it was kind of significant. I'm actually offering this in Gumroad. Um, I'm just going to post the link in my in the comment section or in my timeline so if you want to get your hands on this it's actually just $20 um, but yeah I think this would be I believe this tool will be useful for you so if you want to organize your life I mean if you want to um, take control of your life once again this tool would help uh, like i said i'm just going to post the link to um to this tool in the comment section okay bye thanks